Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev, and today I have a CSA padlock. It is model 26020, 30 millimeters, four pins, and nice Yale style type keyway. That's a little security to it for sure. Let's see if we can pop this open real quick and show you around this freaking beautiful area. Um, in the back here is Escalante. Grand Staircase Escalante, sorry. Decent amount of tension on it. Pen four. A big false set on four, obviously a spool. I can just set the damn thing. Let's see if something else. Okay, there we go. Something else is setting, so we'll move on. I'll click at a two. Pin two does feel. Make sure that was. Yep, that was pin two. Pin two does feel set. I think that spool back down four still needs to be set. Look at that, or I'm hitting a different spool. Yep, on pin one. Make sure I didn't overset that. I think I'm good. Definitely a spool there. We almost got the dang thing. It feels really high. Pen two was a spool. Getting some. There we go. Back there is some tension on that pin or binding pin. Get underneath it. Got a little bit of a turn there. Pin one needed to be set was also a spool. Pin four, there is our open. Whew. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This little CISA padlock put up a freaking fight. And um, the bigger ones are easier because they're easier to hold, bigger keyway. 
and it's because it's full of spools as you saw I'm, I'm honestly really surprised uh, I had no idea it was going to take me this long it took me quite a few takes but yeah anyway here's our little CESA padlock and I don't know when but I'm going to go home and gut this I am really curious and they make the pin super obvious for us too so yeah I, I kind of have to gut this I want to see what's inside and behind us here is we are in the Grand Staircase Escalante area. The staircase is back there. And I am inside of Devil's Garden. So there's a Devil's Garden in Arches National Park. There's a Devil's Garden here at Escalante. Very cool area. All right, I'll be home shortly, and yeah, I think I'm gonna get that little little CESA padlock. All right, I'll see y'all soon. All right, I do have the pin drilled for the core to come out. This is the pin for the shack retaining pin usually. So I'm just gonna leave that one alone. And um, I did already notice that on this side that you can see that the, the little piece right there, the lever that holds this part of the shackle is completely extruded now because I did pull the core out a little bit and it made that part expand. So we can already tell what kind of um, shackle um, retaining pieces we have here. We also did have a pin already come out. Anyways, there's not really a, a pretty way to do this, to be honest. Um, there's no pins on the sides to uh, tap and take it out with. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to put this back together, but um, here we go. So we got it turn. See, there's no more spring pressure there. That is because the spring pressure is no more loaded onto that. Similar to if you've seen my, uh, my classic Yale brass um, gutting just like that. But here we go. Let's see if I can just... So, so far I can't just pull it out. There we go. I don't know what was stuck there. Oh, maybe it's because I was pulling on the key. And I need to not pull on the key because that'll sometimes pull it and make some of the pins stick straight up or stick up harder. Okay, there we go. So yeah, okay, there is the retaining pin. So this is similar to the uh, Master 570. So let me go ahead and get this taken apart here. So here are all the pins. So this does have spools like I suspected. Definitely felt them. And let's check the inside here. There are springs and nothing too much else going on in there. So yeah, you can see in the back there, those pieces right there, that is the part that was sticking in the keyway. And you can see how the tail piece, kind of like our Yale, fits right between those two spots right there. Let's see, here are the holes for our pins. So we got four pins right there. And yeah, um, yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put this back together. I might just stick it to the side. Um, figure out, maybe I can find the holes on the side here to tap, but we'll figure that out later. Anyways, for the pins, here we are. Yeah, um, three spools, one standard, four pins. The CESA, again, surprising. If you see one, pick one up. It's worth getting just to have 
something that's slightly different that has um, some spools and security pins in it, you know what I mean? Um, the keyway, no different keyway there, so nothing too special there. But yeah, here is our CISA 26020 30mm, um, completely gutted. And this was our bidding, so yeah, nothing too special in our bidding. Just small keyways and small lock and some spool pins. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.